Today, I'm going to share with you four strategies for you to use instead of yelling. So if you feel like yelling is your last resort or your children won't listen unless you yell, apply these four strategies first. Please apply these four strategies. They work like a charm. They work wonders. And I promise you, you're going to see a change. Hello, my name is Marcela Collier. I'm a certified parenting coach and founder of HIC Parenting Education Agency. My team of coaches and I have helped 14,151 parents bring peace to their parenting and raise emotionally healthy children. If you want to be an emotionally intelligent parent, raising emotionally healthy children, this is the channel for you. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell because every week we upload new content. So do you feel like, yeah, like they ignore me unless I raise my voice? And when I raise my voice, it almost gets to a point to me that I keep, I have to keep raising my voice louder and louder because my, my used to work doesn't work anymore. Yeah, that's what happens when we desensitize our children from our voice, our tone of voice. So I'm going to share with you these four strategies for you to start, start using right now today. Let me know in the comments which one of the four you are going to start using today. Number one, lower your tone of voice even more. If you are talking at this level, talk like this. Talk like this. You are going to gain their attention a lot quicker because our human, um, our human reaction is if we see somebody whispering, what's the first thing that we do? We go forward and we open our eyes and we we get a little closer, we open our ears, we stop doing the, the noises we're doing to pay attention. Whisper even more. Make sure that they're looking to you. Maybe you, can, you have to call their names first. Maybe go to where they're at, call their attention, make sure they're looking at you, and then whisper. And you say, I'm going to tell you this as a secret, or I'm going to tell you this as a whisper. And we are going to talk like this the next five minutes. Make it a game. Yeah, make it a game. That, that was not part of my four strategies, but I'm going to include, include that as one of them because playful parenting is one of the greatest parenting tools there are. There is even a book written about playful parenting. It is called Playful Parenting. Yeah, just look it up on Amazon playful parenting it's there um why is this so effective because play is our children's language if we speak their language we get their attention number two signs if your verbal cues has not helped then stop doing the same thing moving to non-verbal oi santi what happened my son is playing ball outside the the office and he accidentally bang the, the door with the ball. Okay, that startled me. <laughs> Let's go back to what we're talking about. The signs, the nonverbal cues. So if talking has not helped, what can help? Maybe develop some verbal cues ahead of time that you can use with your children. You can say, hey guys, I noticed that lately every time I call you guys to go take a bath, it's, it's hard for you to listen. What is a nonverbal cue or what is a sign, a body cue that we can have a, as a thing between you and me? Make it silly. If it can be silly, maybe the verbal cue could be this, maybe it could be like, eh. if it's silly, for sure it's going to get their giggles out and it's going to be effective because children make, I mean, what moves children is what makes them tick. And if, they're, if they have a silly personality like my children, for sure, that kind, that kind of uh, nonverbal language is going to get them going. Number three. Number three. Maybe the nonverbal cues might be tricky. But what about verbal cues? Every time, and develop it beforehand. Every time that I say potato, 
that means that we're going to eat lunch. Or every time that I, every time that I say potato, that means we're getting in the car. Why is this effective? Because it changes it from this is an instruction, this is uh, my mom, like, like the charter box. You know, I remember growing up, my mom would say things and it just sounded like noise in my head, drilling in my head. It felt like nagging. <laughs> yes, it takes us out of the nagging zone into the connection zone. Yeah. Hey guys, I already told you a hundred times to get in the car. Hey guys, potato, potato, hot potato. You guys are right now a cold potato. Let's make french fries, hot potato. And the hot potato is when they get in the car. So that's number three. And number four, and this is one of, like, this is the biggest one. The way that you manage your temper the way that you process what's going on inside your overwhelm, your frustration, like it doesn't matter if you're using these strategies, the whisper strategy, the sign strategy, the number of cues, the verbal cues strategy. If you're using them from overwhelm, from disconnection to yourself, from rage, from lack of patience, your children are going through, read through that and not, it's not going to work. That's one of the biggest things that I work with our coaching clients in HIC parenting. We work on themselves, on them, their feelings, on their needs, on how they're processing the, the mental load of, in their family, how they are showing up for themselves. They can apply all these great tools and strategies from presence and not disconnection. If you want to be that secure parent, if you really want to change your parenting, and that's why you're watching this video, because you're tired of yelling, because maybe you're tired of corporal punishment, maybe because you're tired of the things that you're doing and you, you're just searching for, for all the tools that you could get. The biggest tool, more than the things of what to say to your kids, is to work on yourself. I have a free class. That has helped so many parents, so, so many parents. Our clients come through this free class because they, they go through the class. They, they start applying what they learn in the class and they start seeing transformation and they start like, okay, what, what else is for me? If I see that my children are not defiant, if I'm a lot more calmer in a week, I can imagine what would it be? And then they come to us a lot of the times. I'm ready to do deeper work on myself. So if you want to access this class where you're going to learn the system to bring peace to yourself, bring free from, break free from reactivity, and raise emotionally healthy children, all you have to do is go to hicparenting.com. I'm going to put a card here, a card with a link here on top that you can access there. It's free. Just give us your name, your email. We send you the class and you can start transforming your parenting this week. It's in the description below as well. Before we go, I want to show you the story of Jasmine. She's one of our, our clients who once started with this class and she started applying it. And with the class, this is what she's saying right now. Thanks, my mom. I have a car fish. Could you do the I mean, like, how do you handle people could see it? So I'm feeling much better now. Wow. Before, how was your interaction with, with the kids before? That was Jasmine. Just with the things that she learned in the class. I know it will help you. So this is this, these are the strategies combined. Instead of yelling, instead of yelling, before you yell, try these four things. Number one, whisper. Number two, create... Uh, a, ver a non verbal cue with your kids beforehand that you can use. Number three, create a verbal cue, even if a, a silly, silly one, one works better than anything, to signal things that you tell them in the daily routine to brush their teeth or to turn on off their iPads. Create a verbal cue. Every time you say goofy, that means no more screen time. And the last one is to work on yourself, to become a secure parent, 
break free from reactivity. So you can do these strategies, not from overwhelm and frustration, but from connection and peace. You can start transforming your parenting with one simple tweak. One simple tweak, even from this video, let me know which one you are going to do today. Which one you're going to do today? The whisper, the non-verbal cue, the verbal cue. Let me know in the comments. And remember that it only takes understanding of yourself and of your children's needs to transform your parenting. Share this video. Share this video with another parent that might be benefiting from learning what to do instead of yelling. Share it with one friend right now. Before you move, don't go and do anything else. Share it with a friend right now. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Ciao.